and hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Sim Games TO. I'm your host, Sim Games TO, and we will be continuing our build of London, Ontario, Canada. So let's continue here on this segment and let's see what's happened uh, since we've uh, left the game here. So we've got residential and commercial demand back up, which we will attend to in very shortly. Actually, let me put in some um, some commercial over here, uh, residential, I mean, rather, over here. Um, okay. There we go. Okay, I think we can make that a uh, industrial. That's in the. Uh, I'm just double check and make sure it's in the industrial area or in the. There we go. Okay, just make sure it stays lumber, as to not create pollution there for the residential area. Okay. So we have some more commercial demand. Let's add some commercial, some low density commercial. Maybe office, I th no, 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 we'll keep it. We'll keep it low density commercial area along here. There we go. All right. And there and there as well. That should satisfy the commercial demand for the moment. Okay, we have commercial along there. Let's take a look at our university, see if it's populating up. That's dropped a bit in population actually, so it's not a good thing. But it would Population increasing, I think that'll solve itself. Well, let's take a look at the college. How many people we got? 234. Again, not very high. Let's see how we're doing for school and education. Okay, so high school is a little bit low. Um, maybe I could build a larger high school. How big is this high school over here? Let's go to schools. How big is this? This is... Uh, secondary school, 1,300 students. This is also this is 1,200 students. Um, hmm. I think I may put a bit of a larger one in here. Let me see what we have here for secondary schools because I think that we'll need a larger one to go inside here. Um, we're still in elementary. So this is 2,500. This is 600, definitely not what we're looking for. See that it's 2,000. That's a little bit more like what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's see what this is named. H B Beal Secondary. So let me just demolish this. And I will put, oops. And demolish this and let's put in this one. Whoops, that's 2,000. So that's going to increase the capacity by 700 students. Let's go ahead and name it. There we go. And, no, oh, there we go. Lots of students already enrolling. And so that should actually bump up our university numbers as well. Let's take a look at how education is. University is spread out. Not very much. So we've got lots of people educated here. Not that many educated down here. I should have put in a college in this area, but I couldn't find a college campus that would have gone in here. Okay. How is the zoo going? 1148 out of 2,000. It needs 2,000 to get to level Five. And how many people have entered? Twenty-nine. Not not the highest amount of people for sure. 
Okay. Well, traffic is not too bad in the area. Got a little back up there. Um, let's see if I'm able to level this up. Make this a little bit larger. There we go. And now our vehicles turning back around or going straight. Okay. Let's use the traffic manager to solve this problem. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. There we go. And there we go. Just like that. <coughs> That should help move that traffic along and decongest that off ramp. Okay, so we've got people coming into here. Why have we got them all caravaned in one line? Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, so I think that what I'm going to do is shut that off. So no straight, only left hand turn. And then that should make it so that vehicles will use this right hand lane a little bit more, hopefully. Let's see if that happens. In an attempt to decongest this route here. Okay, good. And unemployment has seriously dropped as well. That those bus routes and those residential buildups near the industrial areas have definitely helped out. And we still have quite a bit of unemployment in this area. Hmm. Well, we've got the bus routes set up there, so... Okay, let me see if I can get this this bus route down here. Okay. Um There we go. Okay. And let's get that over there. And then we'll put one more over here. Oh. There we go. The orange one. Okay. Very good. So maybe that'll help out this area. Um, got enough bus there. Um, okay. So this blue line, I'm very sure I'm going to bring up to there. We're actually going to connect this into the university somehow. So let's actually bring it to over here. Okay. And then let's bring this back to over here. There we go. Yes, that is exactly what I want. Okay. So let's get this bus line. Let's get some stops in for this bus line and we'll get that to connect to the university. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
go. Okay, well, I've got to wait for it to find its footing because otherwise I can't really do much. There we go. Okay, and let's put that there, that in there, and put that there. It's kind of hard to work with these bus lines, one must admit. They just really don't do what you want it to do. Okay. There we go. Okay. And to there. I'm getting very curious as to how this bus route shoots up with passenger numbers, because I would anticipate that it will. Uh, there we go. There we go. And we're going to definitely be populating this area with commercial and residential area uh, zoning, so even though there's nothing here now, there will be. Okay. Put this there. There we go. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Exactly symmetrical. Stops aren't exactly opposite each other. I realize that, but that's okay. All right. There, good enough. Okay. So let's see if there's any schools, parks, etc. that go into that area. So let's take a look at what intersection that is. This is Adelaide and Huron, Huron Street. So Adelaide and Huron. Adelaide and Huron, okay. So let's see if there's any school in this area. There's no park that I see. There is the Thames Valley Trail. <clears throat> Which goes into there. Um, Old North Public School, which goes at Colborne and Victoria. So, Col Victoria, Colborne and Victoria. So, there is a school that goes in here. So, so, what was it called again? Old North Public School. Okay. And I'll make it a big one. I want it to be a big school. Because I'm expecting some quite a fair bit of population. 700, 600? This seems like something. This seems more of the kind that I'd like to hear. 700 people. There we go. It's a nice looking school to have in here. Yeah, that looks like a very nice match for the area. Okay, so that's Old North Public School. Old North Public School. So in here, Above here, we're going to have a big park that does kind of slide in, slide itself in there. And I will put it in. Uh, let me just go ahead and put some of this residential demand inside here. Okay. Mm, just like that. Okay. There we go. So this area should start building up. And let's put some commercial over here along the street. And that's going to be really nicely complementing the bus route. Oh, let's get that commercial spot there. Okay, uh, residential rather. Um, okay, so let's take a look here. We've got... Ooh, so this is actually... A so Colborne Street goes out. So let's see Colborne Street, and then there's a park here. Then there's space for athletics and stuff like that. King's University College. Ah, aha, aha. Okay, so 
we can put another college here. There is a King's University College campus here. So let's go ahead and start making that area. So we have Colborne that ex extends Waterloo. Waterloo Street goes all the way through then around. And I'm going to be definitely moving these. Um, I'm going to actually start by moving these. One, two, three, and let's get to, let's go to the water pipes. Let's pipe these together. Okay, and then let me move these over here. Let's move this over here. And then this will move over here. Very good. All right. So then let's hook them up with water pipes. There we go. Okay. Good. So then let's get Waterloo to open it. The road will come this way and then this way. And then that's where this college campus will go. So let me put a straight line there. And that's Waterloo there. And then just like that. Okay. Tony Street. Same as my name. Okay. So Waterloo Street. Let's go ahead and extend this all the way over here. Um... Colborn will also extend. Ah, I'm not sure if I want to extend Colborn or should I extend Colborn? You know what? I'm going to extend Colborn because I think that we're going to put in some sports because it says that there's sports fields in this area and I don't want to miss out on that. So let me go ahead and put that in there. Colborn, let's go ahead and name it. Okay. There, just like that. Now, so over here, we're going to have a big park area. A major park area inside here. This is going to be like a very big park that goes in here. And I'll grab the name in a second. Uh, we're actually going to move all the way to... This is actually good. This park is actually going to extend all the way to the river. There we go. Okay, so let me get the name of the park now. Um... Thames, Thames Valley, uh, the Thames Valley Trail. So Thames Valley, oops, Valley Trail. Okay. And we'll just leave that there for now as a kind of a mark thing that we know it's there and that we don't forget that that's going to be a park. Okay, so now try now uh, time for the campus area. We'll switch this to a smaller size, and this will be the campus area. Actually, we're going to make this part of the campus area too because we're going to need this area as well. These campuses are usually rather larger than smaller. Okay, and this is going to be called King's University College. King's. Hmm? King's University College. All right, there we go. And let's get, uh, oh, let me remove the traffic lights before we do anything. Oh, I already, was there not one put there? Okay, so let's remove that. Oh, that's already been removed from before, so just didn't, didn't add it back in. Okay, I got it. All right, so, um, so let's go ahead and put in this university, uh, college rather. So, because that we don't have, we have trade school. Oh, no, that's college. So we have Thames Valley College. Okay, so this is going to be a university then. Uh, or a, a trade school rather. Okay. It's already occupied. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Let's move these to over here. One, 
two. Let's move the electricity of the Tesla buildings over there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Back to business. So the you know, main administration campus building will go here. And we will have um, a school of something. So we have school of engineering, tourism and travel, police academy. I like the police academy. Let's move the police academy. Let's see if I got space for that here. I do. Perfect. All right. Academic statute? No. Volleyball club? No. It's not what I'm looking for. Media lab? Media lab. I like that. Let's put in the media lab. And laboratories. Let's put in a laboratory. <clears throat> okay. So we'll just have that like there as such. So we've got 32 people. Ac uh, students for three. I tracked this 175, so not yet. Ac Academic works, uh, IT and engineering give. So um, attractiveness, we need 25 points more of attractiveness. Um, first of all, uh, where is it? Here we go. I'm going to find a pathway, actually. And I'm going to make the pathway so that... There we go. So people can travel back and forth between two roads there. Now let me put in something into the college here. Um, study hall? Sure, why not? Uh, study hall sounds good to me. There we go. Oh, we've got a truck using the road. Probably not really wanted, but that's okay. Not a big deal. We won't do anything about it until or unless it becomes a problem. All right. Uh, so, uh, let me think about how I'm going to do this. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Um, sports arenas along here because that's what there is so in real life there's the athletic fields and there's 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 there's, there, there's a couple of sports um institutions here so this and, and and it's nice and far enough away from the residential area so that it's not going to create like it's a perfect location because it's close enough to the residential area where people can get here easily but at the same time it's far enough that it's not going to cause any noise pollution. So I, I really am liking this area for sports fields. I think this is just so ideal for that. And it's kind of a bit central because if you put the sports arenas out here at Western University, they're kind of a bit too far because then people that live here have to travel all the way to here. And it's a little bit unrealistic. It's a little bit far for these Sims. Sims do tend to be really lazy. Um, I, I think that that's exactly how we are too in real life. We don't want to travel too far all the time. We like to be close to everything. And these Sims are absolutely not different from that. So we have to kind of consider that while we make the city that we make it so that institutions are close by to people. So let me change the area here first. So we've got, that's the campus area. I'm going to just increase the campus area. Take it away from the park. I will take some away from the park, but that's okay. It's for a good cause. Because we will put the sports stadiums inside here. I think this is a fantastic place where it's got good. It's got good location. It's away from residential. It's got transportation. We've got the buses coming along here serving the... Um, people as well. I think I might, might even add in another bus route along Col Colburn here, just cutting right through the city. I think that's a good idea. And we'll just have it come right through to the bus terminal and then back up to the sports stadium. I think that's a fantastic idea. And I think that I will do that next. Okay. Oh, we've got commercial demand coming up. So let's take care of that. And just as such, 
Okay, and we've got commercial all along everywhere else. Maybe we can put in a couple more over here. There we go. Okay, and we could put some commercial along inside here too. Or you know what I will do? I will actually put office in this area. Hopefully I don't get any big skyscrapers because that I really don't want. But we could put some commercials, uh, some office zoning inside here. Don't think it's going to really hurt. It'll actually encourage people, edu the, our educated Sims that are educated at Western University to get some gainful employment easily. So, um, so let's get back to this here. This is, this is actually quite interesting. So we'll put in, um, we've got varsity sports, basketball arena. What else have we got in here? I mean, they've got so many stuff. Um, we've got so many assets and stuff. This one, two, three, four, five comes with the original building. Football. People love football, don't they? Um, so how far away do I need to get it from the population to about there? And then we will also put in um, aquatics, basketball. People love basketball. People absolutely love basketball. So we put those in there. Now this is going to actually really cost the university quite a bit of money. Uh, or, or the... King's Uni is that what's called King's University? Co kind of confusing, isn't it? King's University College. Hmm. Well, well, we'll call it the college or university. I don't even know what to call it. That is confusing. Anyways, so this campus um, has its sports. It's the only campus we have that has sports that goes along with it. Now, I think that what I will do is add in that bus bus route. I'm actually kind of really excited to do that because I think that we're going to get lots of people using it. Let me just check on this bus route really quickly here. Where is it? Let me click on this and see how many people it's trapped. 700 residents. That is one busy bus route. That is one busy bus route with lots of people. You know what? I think I'm going to add some buses on here because I think that this is um, 28. Yeah, let's add some buses on here. My goodness. There's, there's, this this bus line has become a hit for uh, demand. So let's uh, let's let's make sure <laughs> let's make sure we have enough buses to carry everybody on it. Okay, so let's get started on this new room. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna have a bus stop here. And is there no way around? Okay, let me remove that. Let me, let me put a turnaround here because just so that the bus can turn around. Okay. Magnolia Street. Oh, I'm not going to rename it. I'm going to leave that as is. It has a nice name anyway, so it's okay. There we go. And let's get it over here. What? 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 You don't want to draw me a straight line there? Okay. And look at that, it just comes right into the central terminal. Just ever so naturally. And I'll put it to right there. We'll just just so we'll we'll turn it around there so that it can get around easily. And it doesn't have to go into the terminal, cause traffic and be backed up by bus traffic. We'll just get it we'll just bring it around um, we'll just keep it there, that last line there. People will be able to just walk over to it rather than putting it into the terminal because look at all the traffic in here. It's just going to create more bus and road traffic. So if we just have it come around here, it's going to just easily get in and out and people can still transfer to it. So that looks like a good idea to me. And let's take it and mirror it all the way back up. I just got to figure out a line color for it and a name. We already know it's going to be called Colborn. And let's go to the new one. Where is it? There we go. So let's change the bus first since they're already coming out. So we will. What color should we make? We've got purple, pink. We've got. Uh, we've got a lot of colors here, don't we? You think I can make it brown? Is there a brown? 
Ah, look at that. There is a brown. We'll make it brown. And we'll call it the 14 Colborn. We're not interfering with a number, another number, right? So we've got bus line one. Oh, we don't have bus line two or three. So let's call it the number two Colborn. Two Colborn. All right. There we go. So residential demand is coming up again. So let's put in some more residential area here. And I think that next I'm going to start making this park. Let me put in these houses. All right. And let's extend this road here. I'm going to use straight line. Where does Egerton, this is, um, no, it's Adelaide. Okay, so where does Adelaide go? I'm kind of curious now. So this is Adelaide. It keeps going up. Windmere. So there's a street called Windmere Road that comes all the way across. Um... <clears throat> Windmere Road. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna put in Windmere Road. That's what we're gonna. We're gonna call it Windmere Road. Okay, so let's just remove the traffic lights first because this is a pretty busy intersection, especially this one and this one, so I don't want the traffic lights there. That's kind of high priority to remove those. Okay, so this is called, uh, I already forgot, Windermere. How do you spell? Windermere Road. Okay, got it. Windermere Road. Yeah. Okay. And that's Adelaide that goes all the way up to there. Let's get that marked. Okay, perfect. All right. So, interesting basketball, I mean, uh, football stadium. Ah, interesting, interesting, interesting. Ah, let's take a look at the brown bus, our new two Colborn route. How is it doing? Oh, plenty of people waiting to take the bus. Plenty of people. We're servicing the area well for sure. Um, seven buses? I think I might up that to nine. There we go. <clears throat> we got a couple more buses. Because we do have quite a few people waiting. That's very good. So how many people are taking transportation right now? Um, 50, but for, uh, 53, so 4,700 plus 600, uh, 5,300 people are taking transportation. City size is we're at 66,000 people. So it's about 8%, roughly, which is okay. Our target is 10%, but uh, I think that, that I think that we're going to see that climb quite a bit with these two, with, with all the route adjustments that we've done. So we'll give that a little bit of time. I'm sure that'll climb. Okay, so, so let's take a look at the state, Thames Valley Park here. Um, we're going to make this a pretty large park. This whole area is going to be a park. Yeah, that whole area is going to be the park. So let's put this together. I'm actually quite excited and looking forward to this. How many people have we got coming in? 270 already? Okay. And it's costing us quite a bit of money. That's okay. We've got money to spare. <clears throat> How's the university population? 13. That's fallen quite a bit. It's, it's, it's actually fallen 
It's not good. I think that the, they might have to it might look at like a residential area, like around here or here, somewhere close to the university, so that we can kind of encourage people to attend the university and live, live a little closer by to it. Okay. So let's take a look here. Parks? Um, no, that's not parks. There we go. So sign, main side entrance, I will put that over here. And let's get the rest of the side entrances. So we'll put a side entrance here. Put another side entrance here. Put another side entrance here. Put another one over here. Put another one over here. And then let's... Use the swiggly. Uh, you know what? No, I'll use the straight. There we go. There we go. Just up to there. And then. There we go. there hmm you know what I'm considering instead of actually keeping it a side gate we main make it a amusement park or as a main gate okay so let me change the main gate that's fine. I'll change the main gate. Okay. So let me change the main gate to this. Well, let's make this an amusement park. I think that's going to be much better. Hmm. Thames Valley Amusement Park. That's what I'm going to call it. It'll make it more interesting. Instead of just being a basic park. We'll make this an amusement park. I think. It's got the size, it's got a good location, and we don't have one. So, and it's right next to the university. I think this is a fantastic location for an amusement park. Um, <clears throat> okay. Parks and Leisure, amusement park. Okay, so we have... Oh, let me put in this... Um, there we go. There we go. Uh, that's not straight for me. It's going to bother me. So let me just redo that. There we go. That feels better. Okay. So let's start putting in the amenities. Uh, so let's move away from that. Okay. Ah, interesting. One. Two. Three, four, there we go. Okay, and let's do the bumper cars, or what, what, what is this? Amusement Park, Amusement Park Plaza. Okay, let's go to put that in. Oh, no, I do not, oh, I hate it when, I, when that happens. Okay, and it removes the road like that. Okay, um... Is it? Oh, sh okay, so let's go back here. Let's put it back in. Okay. Phew. Okay. Amusement cafe. There we go. Souvenir shop. Let's put that over here. What is this? Amusement park restrooms. Let's get those here. Caruso, we'll put that over here, 
and piggy train. Let's put that over here. Rotating teacups. Sounds fun. And swinging boat. That over here. House of Horror. Put that here. Ooh. Drop tower. Bumper cars. Yeah, for sure. Let's get the bumper cars in. There we go. Whatever this is, I'm, I'm putting it in. Right here. This is called the the, uh, the drop drop ride tower. Okay, pendulum ride. There we go. And this will be the Ferris wheel. Okay, there we go. And roller coaster. I've been saving this spot for the roller coaster. So what else have we got here? Oh, this is just a bunch of... Ah. I'm not going to be bothered putting in those little things. So what have we got here? How are we doing for amusement? Entertainment, uh, 1568. I think we've got to get it to 2,000 for it to be able to uh, go to level 5. Policies, celebrate night tours. A definite must. Okay, so how's, how's our RCI? So we've got commercial that's come up. So let's get some commercial development in here. There we go. That should do the trick for now. All right. Oh, we've got unemployment there as well. Huh. Okay, and it is time to take a break. We will conclude this segment of our build of London, Ontario here. And... Um, I will be back in about 10-15 minutes and we are going to continue with that. Thanks for uh, hanging out, uh, thanks for being along and I will see you back soon.